Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of economics in four minutes. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss the idea of Lorentz curve and Gini coefficient. You can find more videos on economics, econometrics, statistics, SPSS and R Studio on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin with the introduction. Gini coefficient is a numerical measure of inequality that can be calculated from the Lorentz curve. So Lorentz curve shows the distribution of income in any economy and Gini coefficient helps us to find the degree of income inequality. So what is Lorentz curve? Max Lorentzin in 1906 came up with the uh, idea of this curve which shows the percentage of total income earned by cumulative percentage of the population. So here you can see on x-axis we have cumulative percentage of population and on y-axis we have cumulative percentage of income. The line at the 45 angle shows perfect equal in income distribution. So poorest 25% of the population has 25% of the total income or poorest 50% of the total population has 50% of the income. And that is why diagonal line or 45 angle line shows perfect equal income distribution in the economy. Now suppose this yellow line OL curve shows the actual income distribution of the economy, which is our Lorentz curve. So in this case, you can see poorest 40% of the population has 25% of the total income or poorest 75% of the population has 50% of the total income. So as inequality increases, the Lorentz curve deviates from the line of equality. So how to find Gini coefficient using Lorentz curve? Here, area A shows the inequality gap. That is the distance between diagonal line and actual income distribution line. So Gini coefficient is equal to A upon A plus B. Now, if A is equal to 0, that means Gini coefficient is equal to 0. Because if you substitute the value of A in the formula, Gini coefficient becomes 0. That shows perfect equality. That means you have a diagonal line. So your actual income distribution does not deviate from the diagonal line. On the other hand, if B is equal to 0, then Gini coefficient is equal to 1. That shows perfect inequality. That means only one person has the total income of the, of the economy. So higher the Gini coefficient means higher inequality and vice versa. So this is how we explain the Lorentz curve and Gini coefficient in economics. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.